What's up guys? Welcome back tonight for another informational type video about four wheel drive drag racing. Uh, tonight we're going to continue on with talking about the front axle again and we're going to talk about a little thing called scrub radius. Uh, this is the time of year when guys are uh, gearing up to buy wheels and tires and this is something that you really need to factor in when you're considering uh, the offset, the backspace, what size wheel, all of those things that you need to order a set of wheels. Uh, you really wanna figure in the scrub radius to that formula. So just gonna take a few minutes here tonight and explain to you guys exactly how to measure for scrub radius and why it's important. Had to cut it there for a second. Uh, it's extremely windy here in Kentucky today and I uh, didn't want it to affect the sound quality. Uh, it's like the opening scene of Twister out here today. So before we jump into uh, talking about what scrub radius is, I think it'll actually be easier if I show you guys how to measure for it first, and then we can talk about what the heck those numbers mean. So uh, all you're gonna need to measure this is some sort of straight edge, like a piece of angle iron, a Sharpie, and a tape measure. So let's jump into this and see how to measure for scrub radius and what the heck it means. Okay, so I'm gonna explain this assuming that you guys already have a set of wheels and tire for the truck, uh, so that way I can physically show you how to measure this and it'll make more sense for when we go and talk about why. So first thing we need to do, take that piece of angle iron or straight edge, and it's a little bit tricky to do because there's no good place to put it in here, but to the best of your abilities, figure out the center of the top ball joint in the center of the ball of the bottom ball joint you're going to draw an imaginary line which is basically what the piece of angle irons for and you're going to make a mark on the ground now i have these boards here stepped up uh, to simulate this being at ride height with a 28 inch tire so whatever <clears throat> size wheel and tire you run uh, you can check this without taking the wheels off uh, sometimes and if you have a lot of uh, wheel offset you can easily check it with the wheel off but uh, for this case and for showing you guys how to do it i've got the wheel off so that's why i've got these boards simulating ride height so once you find the center line of the top ball joint and the bottom ball joint, you'll make a mark where that imaginary line hits the ground. And then from there, what we need to do is we need to grab our wheel and tire and we need to put this thing on the rotor here, just like it would be bolted up. And then I'll show you guys what to do there. Okay, so you don't necessarily have to bolt the wheel on. You just need to make sure that it's sitting all the way up against the hub uh, like it is on. And then now what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the center of the tire here. So in my particular tire, this is a 10 and a half inch slick. And so my center is at five and a quarter. And then I follow that center down to the bottom here and I mark on the board the mark of the center, which is five and a quarter. And then now I can take the wheel back off and see what my scrub radius is. Okay, with the wheel back out of the way, we have now have two marks on the board here. So now you take your tape measure and measure the distance between these two marks, which in my case is four and a half inches. And that tells us that we have a four and a half inch scrub radius. Now that you guys know how to get the scrub radius and you know what your scrub radius is, let's talk about what the heck this number means and why it's important. Okay, so the first mark that we made on the ground, the intersect of the top and lower ball joint, that is gonna be the position in which this tire is trying to pivot around. Uh, that's gonna be the, the steering pivot. Now, you notice we have an offset on, in my case, of four and a half inches of where the center of the tire actually is. So that means that the center of the tire is actually pivoting four and a half inches offset of the center of where it wants to pivot. So that gives you a scrubbing effect. Uh, the easiest way to see this is if you have uh, some concrete, uh, you can take your truck or a car or anything and just make a circle, you know, just basically turn the wheel and uh, it'll leave a circle imprint on the ground 
And you can see that like a stock truck that doesn't have much scrub radius is gonna leave closer to a circle. It won't be a perfect circle because there's pretty much no way to do that on a four wheel drive. Uh, you can't get the scrub radius to zero, but the more scrub radius you have, if you have a really wide uh, offset wheel, you're gonna see that it actually scrubs it in like a football shape. So why is this important for four wheel drive racing? Well, the more scrub radius you have, the more the center of that tire is further away from that focal point where it's trying to pivot, the more steering input that you're gonna get. So as you're uh, it, it, going down track, anything that is going to affect the, the tire, any sort of irregularity in the track, is you're gonna get more feedback of that in the steering wheel because of that offset. Uh, the other thing is, is it's harder on the components because the more offset you do, the more that that contact patch is further away from the center focus point there, uh, it, it's gonna be easier to put more load on that bottom uh, ball joint or kingpin. And so like in a situation where that's gonna be harder on tie rod ends, stuff like that. If you guys have ever four wheel drive launched a truck with a you know, big set of, of 12 wide wheels with a bunch of offset, and you know how it gives you the burp, 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 burp deal? Uh, that's exactly why, because it has so much scrub radius. So the ideal scrub radius is zero. Now, you'll never be able to get there with a four wheel drive uh, unless you shortened up the, the steering knuckle to where you could actually get that inside the wheel, which is why a lot of these new uh, trucks are, they have 20 inch wheels, that's one of the, the reasons. If you go and measure your you know, brand new truck, your scrub radius, you'll see that it's, uh, you know, it's as close to zero as they can pretty much get it. Uh, and it's for that reason, it's for steering input, uh, and the longevity of the components. So when you guys are ordering a set of wheels, try to get those wheels with as much back space as possible. Get that wheel stuck in as far as you, you know, stuck inside the body as far as you can, as opposed to sticking it outside of the body. And that's really gonna help with that scrub radius and it's gonna help uh, one, it's, it's all of these things are a component, right? So this just by itself, isn't going to make uh, make or break you know how your truck performs. But when you stack this with the caster, with the the tow, with the pinion angle, when you go through and all the things we've been talking about, and you try to make all of those as best as you can make them, that's when you're going to make noticeable changes in the performance of your four wheel drive truck. Uh, there's a lot of other videos out there about scrub radius. Uh, it, it all applies. I, I haven't seen many specific ones to four wheel drive stuff, but it's all the same stuff. Uh, if you want more of like a whiteboard style illustration, there's a bunch of videos out there for you that you can find. I just wanted to show you guys exactly how to measure for it and why it's important and why we like to run these wheels as tucked in as far as we can. Uh, the other thing too, real quick about wheels being tucked in like this uh, is aerodynamics. Uh, I know that aerodynamics can be a laughable subject with truck racing uh, just because we are trying to race bricks down the down the track uh, but there there's a lot to uh, to do with aero and one of my favorite stories about wheels and tires and aerodynamics uh, is is a Don Garlett story. Uh, I'm a really big drag racing history guy. I think that there's a lot of information that can be learned from the past. And so uh, I really like the old stories. And Don Garlitz talks about when he was first uh, racing his top fuel stuff. Uh, he, he was, they were at a track and tracks back then were nothing like they were now. And uh, it was a very uh, dusty ash that was on the top end of the track and in the shutdown. And he said that with the, the big tall tires, like which are conventional today even, he said that when he would go to that track and he would make a pass, uh, he could see the, that ash kick up 30 feet in front of the tires before he went by. And so he knew that the front tires were disturbing the air. And so he went to 
a really small wheel, which uh, actually was became really popular in top fuel racing in the, like I believe the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, they ran those for a while. And just that small wheel cut down tremendously on the aerodynamics. And so when he went back to that track that was dusty at the other end, uh, it didn't have nearly the disturbance in the air. So I just think about that with these trucks, uh, with these wheels and tires that stick out so far, we already have a huge drag coefficient over the front of these things. Uh, they're tall, they're wide, and then now we stick these wheels and tires out even further and make these things even wider with more drag coefficient. So I don't know how much it helps or hurts, but I know that it, it cannot be helping. So I, I like a nice tucked wheel and tire. I think it looks good. And uh, it's one of those things that checks more than one box helps with scrub radius, helps with aerodynamics in some way, better steering input, and uh, less load on the parts. So that's all I got for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this informative style stuff, drop a comment below, let me know. Uh, if there's anything that I haven't talked about yet that I have missed uh, that you wanna see me talk about, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you're new here, like, subscribe, share the channels with your buddy, and we'll see you next time.